Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to have a chit chat, quick little chit chat about shifting into a new identity. Now, if you're new to this channel, you have probably not seen me before, but I used to have locks. I had locks like a week ago. I was known as the girl with locks. Now I have my natural hair back. So I have shifted my identity in a few ways, not only my hair, but I've also eased back on my bad habits. I'm not as lazy as I was a couple weeks ago. Stopped vaping a few weeks ago. Well, I stopped vaping a couple months ago. But listen, I've, sh I've shifted into a brand new identity right before my eyes. And it's crazy because I've been wanting to like shift into a new person, but like, I've been very fearful of doing that. I've been very fearful of letting go of my old self and my past self, but listen, it has to be done. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a few tips on how I shifted my identity and how you can do the exact same thing. So let's get into it. I want you to claim your new identity. Claim who you are right now and be that person. What do they wear? What do they do? Like, what are they eating? What do they do when they wake up? What do they do when they go to sleep? What's their nighttime routine? What's their daily routine? What do they do? Are they working towards their goal? Are they working out? What's going on here? What exactly is your new self doing? How can you be that person right now? I know for me, like, of course, I don't have locks anymore, but also I've been changing the way I dress. Like, I used to always like have titties showing, like I want my body to show. Like I will want like really tight clothes on so you can like see my titties. Like I'm starting not to wear clothes like that. I'm starting to kind of be a little bit more conservative in what I wear. I think it's cuter on me. Like I don't like how I look with like boobies all out. So I'm just starting to cover up more. And that's just like one little step that I'm taking to kind of change to be that person I want to be. So claiming your new self and who you want to be, like, I, honestly, this is the only step you need. I think our brains constantly complicate everything into making it something more than it really is. But in reality, to shift into a new identity, all you have to do is claim that person right now. You need to dress like them. You need to do what they're doing. Like, your new self probably isn't waking up and scrolling on the phone or trying to get attention from fools and people from the past and things like that. I'm sure your successful version of you was not doing that. The successful version of you was probably waking up and like working out. I mean, only you know who you want to be and I'm going to get to all of that. But for now, all you need to do is claim who that person is and be that person. It's as simple as that. And the things, the different habits and the different things that this new person does, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be very new and just something that you're not used to, which brings me to the next tip, which is to accept change and get comfortable with the uncomfortable getting comfortable with being uncomfortable this is very helpful for me this is a very helpful almost profound thing that I've learned whatever makes you uncomfortable is gonna help you grow it's gonna help you get to where you want to be if you are used to laying in bed when you first wake up instead of getting up of course when you wake up in the morning and try to get out of bed it's gonna be horrible you're, you're not gonna like it you're gonna be uncomfortable but I guarantee you if you get used to being uncomfortable like if you wake up and you're like fuck it, I'm just gonna be uncomfortable. I'm just gonna do it. Not only do you feel better like later on when you think about the fact that you woke up and actually got out of bed, but in that moment, you're rewiring your brain to accept this new habit. And hey, I'm uncomfortable, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna be, un I'm just gonna be uncomfortable. That goes with anything. If you're an introvert, like going out and networking and talking to people, like, get uncomfortable that that's what's going to help you grow that's what's going to get you from this old person to a completely new person another tip that i want to give you guys is to purge what needs to be purged now i don't know about y'all but me personally i have no problems with this i have no problems blocking people i have no problems cutting people off i have no problems like limiting social media because i've had plenty of times where i've like just completely logged off social media for years and you know I think I, I just hopped back on this year I think everybody has those times where they just want to get off social media for like uh, like a few months or you know even a few weeks me I did it for like a year or two years and like I didn't miss a beat you know what I mean I didn't it didn't do anything uh but probably make me feel better within the past couple years I'm not gonna lie so purge what needs to be purged now while I do find it easy to cut off people and cut off social media there are other vices and habits that I do have issues with that I do want to help you out with. For example, I used to vape. Now, I know a lot of people vape. I know that is just, trust me, I know I've been vaping. I was vaping for, I think, it had to have been like five, six years I was vaping. And I literally stopped a couple months ago. And I can't believe it. Like, I promise you, I can't believe it. I, I remember I said I was going to stop smoking weed before I stopped vaping because vaping was just such a huge addiction. But vices such as like vaping or 
you know, out too much alcohol or too much TV. Trust me, I understand. Like those things are very hard to break and purge. Now, I'm not saying don't be happy, right? So for example, I love films. I love TV. I'm watching TV. I'm sorry. That's something I'm going to do. It makes me happy. People can go on social media and get attention from men and that makes them happy. People can go out to a bar and meet new people and that can make them happy, right? People can go to a farm and go feed farm animals and they'll be happy, right? Me, I'm happy sitting in the house watching a movie. Movies aren't just entertainment for me. It's literally a meaningful piece of my life that makes me genuinely happy. But I can also see it being a bad habit. I can also see it be a vice that holds me back because sometimes I will put TV over my work, right? If we can change these vices to something else, and then I'm not going to say go back to your vices when it's all said and done, but limit it because it's hard to just go cold turkey. Now, I'm, I will say it's hard. To, it was hard for me to just quit vaping. Like, that was hard. I think it just is a matter of like a simple mindset, a simple mindset shift when it comes to things like that. But you need to purge what needs to be purged. Limit the things that are in the way. The next tip that I want to give you is to block your negative thoughts. Like you have to block these thoughts like it's fucking hockey, okay? Like the like your thoughts are a puck, you're hitting the puck. Every time you get a negative thought, you need to change the way you're thinking. You need to change those negative thoughts into more positive thoughts. And you need to duck them. You need to duck those thoughts, okay? It's hard, but it's absolutely worth it to do it. Like when you think negatively about whatever goal you're doing, like, oh, like this isn't gonna work or I'm not gonna be this person, immediately change it. And that is the key to blocking out your negative thoughts by changing it. Make it like a game, have fun. Like don't make it such a huge thing. Like I said, our brains complicate everything, so. It's crazy. Now, the last piece of advice I'm gonna give you, have your own version of success. Your version of success does not have to be waking up at 5 a.m. going to the gym. Sure, of course, like I said, do not wake up and scroll your phone and you know do something more productive than getting up and scrolling your phone if that's who the version of you wants to be. But don't sit up here and think that you have to do it to be successful, absolutely not. The reason why people are successful is simple. It's because they keep going on what it is that they're doing. And that's all you have to do is keep going and be who you want to be. So don't change who your, your version of success for anybody else. Don't change it because they don't know what your version of success is. Your version of success could be living on a farm, planting, planting a garden, planting vegetables. Like that could be your version of success. It doesn't have to be living in a fucking penthouse or living in any house at that, like a like people go out and buy houses because people tell them to buy houses, but do you really want a house right now? You know what I mean? Do what makes you happy and go after what you feel success is. Not everything looks aesthetically pleasing. Like that's not how everyone's life is, like aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing. There are gonna be some bumps, there are gonna be different paths. So follow your path, okay? I definitely hope that you have success on this journey of changing who you are and becoming who you wanna be because we don't have that much time in life and we, we can sit here and mope about our lives all we want, but it takes a simple mindset shift to just be like, fuck it, I'm gonna be this new person and you can be that person. It's as simple as changing who you are right now and being that person right now. If I can do it, you can do it too. Trust me, I'm not as lazy. I, I don't look the same. I look completely different. I'm just a completely different person. I'm not who I was two weeks ago. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And in the meantime, I will see you guys in the next video.